This is North Georgia's News Talk. WTUN. This girl is on fire. Welcome back, folks. Seven minutes after 7 o'clock. Game on. Katie B. Davis here on AM 550, FM 102.9, WDUN. This portion of Game On brought to you by Nichols Body Shop, celebrating six years of serving Hall and the surrounding counties. Listen, folks, if your car has been damaged in any capacity, Nichols Body Shop's the place to take it. You'll get a free estimate on the damage quality repairs with old-fashioned service. Go see Nick Nichols and his men on Atlanta Highway and Flowery Branch. And please tell them Katie B. sent you there. All right, we're continuing... To top off our second hour, we're continuing our National Signing Day week, as it were. You all remember Monday, we welcomed into the studio Thomas Marchman, Will Cape, former North Hall football players. Will Cape going to Kennesaw State University to play football. Thomas Marchman going to Mercer University to play football. Uh, On Tuesday, we had Gainesville baseball player Michael Geddes in the studio with us. He's a University of Georgia commit, one of the top baseball prospects in the nation. Then yesterday, we had Gainesville track star Sarah Hayes in here with us. She is going to Wofford to be a heptathlete, something that scared me, just the mere mention of it. And today, we've got a very special guest, uh, West Hall tight end, former West Hall tight end, I should say, and University of Georgia signee Hunter Atkinson is in studio with us. How you doing? You've been you've been kind of busy the last couple of days, haven't you? Yes, ma'am. Now, word on the street was you were going to come walking into the studio stinky from basketball practice, but you don't smell bad. No, I, I had time to go home and take a shower. Oh, so that's I'm nice. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you did that for me because we don't really like stinky people. Like, we'll take them, but, you know. Usually after about five hours of shows on any given day, it's pretty it's rank pretty, in here by this hour. It's pretty funky so it's, it's here anyway. delightful in here That's absolutely true. Well, Hunter's sitting here in studio with us. Uh, folks, if you're tuned in to the AccessNorthGA.com live video stream, you can see very clearly that he's got a University of Georgia button down on. He's got a University of Georgia hat on, and he is grinning from ear to ear. Really a dream come true for you yesterday when you signed on the dotted line, signed that scholarship offer from the University of Georgia. I want you to tell me, tell our listeners, how did it all come about? How did you go from Tuesday night going to Cincinnati, Wednesday morning going to the University of Georgia? Um, It was really crazy. I got done playing a basketball game at Buford and go to the car and mom's like, we got to make a phone call, UGA. And I start grinning because I knew I was next on the list. I was hoping it was. It was always a big dream. I was hoping it was there called Mike Bobo, and he pretty much walked through and said that um, I got an offer from UGA, so I was so excited I couldn't go to sleep. I woke up, somehow fell asleep, woke up at 4 a.m. I was like, all right, it's time to go to bed. I got a big day tomorrow. You know, the the Georgia coaches have said, and I watched ad nauseum the National Signing Day events yesterday from the University of Georgia, and they said uh, that they wanted guys in this class that wanted to be at the University of Georgia. So many coaching changes on the defensive side of the ball that it was important for them to get guys in this class that wanted to be at the University of Georgia. They got one of those guys in you, didn't they, Hunter? Yes, ma'am. Now, what, how you've been a Georgia fan your entire life, right? Yes, ma'am. And, and why? Why are you a Georgia fan and not, I don't know, FSU, Florida, somebody else? I don't know. I guess just growing up here in Georgia, I mean, my sister's always been a Tennessee fan, but I can never pull for that orange. <laughs> yeah. The, that orange color is pretty heinous. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> it absolutely does, whether Florida's wearing it or University of Tennessee is wearing it. What was the conversation like uh, between you and your parents uh, when when you got done talking to Coach Mike Bobo and you realized that, that you were going to get to go to the University of Georgia on a football scholarship? Um, it, it was pretty laid back. They knew right away that I was going to take it because I've been talking to them over and over saying I wanted it, but I couldn't get my hopes up just in case they didn't get a number to come through. So whenever I got the call and I finally got the offer and we sat down, it was pretty much excitement, just surprising my brother and his girlfriend. We yeah. all knew what was going to happen. What, what does Mike Bobo say to you? Um, he pretty much says that if, if I come in and work hard, I have a chance at playing as a freshman. That's fantastic. What do you think your skill set is? Hunter, what do you think you bring to the table? And remember, this is a team. I know you know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but I'm speaking more for our listeners. This is a team uh, that no longer has Ty Forney Smith. He's gone. No longer has Arthur Lynch gone to graduation. Uh, They're starting anew at the tight end position, and one of those guys is you. What do you bring to the table? What's going to get you playing time next year? Uh, Hard work and just wanting to be on the field and give 100% every play. 
I really want to know this. And we had West Hall coach Tony Lottie on with us yesterday. And, of course, talk about somebody grinning from ear to ear. His glow was, uh, you could feel it. It was palpable through the phone. This a man uh, that switched you from, I don't even know where you were playing. <laughs> this is my point, though. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't even know where you were playing to tight end. Then you burst on the scene your junior year. And, of course, we all know what you did last season. Uh, when you told Coach Lottie, hey, I'm going to the University of Georgia as a tight end. Uh, that moment had to be incredible for for both of you. What was that like? It was really like it was just unbelievable because he's done so much behind the scenes. That man does more than for me than I would say. He's like my mom. They do a lot for me and all the work. He's been up twenty four seven talking to colleges for me. He brings recruits to the school daily. So, I mean, I think that he was really happy for me knowing that his hard work paid off and just didn't go to waste. Now, before. The signing with the University of Georgia, obviously, um, Hunter Atkinson, who who joins us now in studio as we continue game on, uh, was was going to to Cincinnati. Yes, uh, what was it about Cincinnati that you liked? Um, I really liked their head coach up there, Tupperville. I liked their program, how they did things, and they have a good success. They're always in a bowl game, always have a winning season. They have a good background with tight ends into the NFL, which is what I'm looking forward to doing. Let me ask you this: If, if you had been offered, uh and and one of your teammates next year, Lorenzo Carter, is one of the guys that was. Yes, if you had been offered by every Division One school in the nation, every Division One school in the nation, but Georgia, mm. and let's say that Tuesday, now hold on, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask you to go back and be like, oh, I'd rather go to so and so. That's not what <laughs> we're about to do. Uh, and on Tuesday, Georgia calls and offers you. Do you still take that? Yes, ma'am. That's how big of a dream it was for you to go to the University of Georgia. Yes, ma'am. Can you even fathom what it's going to be like? Running out of the tunnel, running between the hedges for that first game? No, I went down there just to watch them play uh, Kentucky. And just being on the field between the hedges was unbelievable. So I don't even know what it's going to be like dressed in red running out there in front of all the fans. Uh, the guys who you are, are coming into uh, University of Georgia with, the, the, the recruiting class of 2014, as it were, you know any of these guys? Have you talked to any of them? No, ma'am. Well, that's good then. I guess we're starting fresh with everyone. Uh, what did your parents say? To, what's, what's the last couple of days been like for you, Hunter? Um, Pretty crazy. My dad, I mean, I haven't really got to talk to him much because a bunch of phone calls and, and radio shows, but I think they're really excited for me. I'm staying close and that my grandma will get to come see me because she is handicapped and all the way in Cincinnati. It's been real hard for her to get up there. He's got a pretty big contingency in studio with him, Hunter Atkinson does. So I'm just going to ask you to actually, no, we're going to have him holler out. Are you excited he's going to Georgia? Yes. Absolutely. Well, that's what we like to hear. You going to go see him play? Yes. That's what we like to hear as well. <laughs> I think I might make a couple trips too, but not for you in particular. I'm a Bulldog fan as well. I mean, I like you and all, but you know, it's not for not. you in particular. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. All right, folks, we're going to take a short break here. When we come back, uh, we're going to continue our conversation with a new Georgia signee, Hunter Atkinson. The same questions we asked Michael Geddes, the same kind of questions we asked Sarah Hayes. We're going to drill him on some get-to-know Hunter Atkinson questions. That's coming up on Game On on WDUN. <laughs> Boy, what fun we're having tonight in the WDUN studios, the Jacobs Media Building on Thompson Bridge Road in beautiful Gainesville. I'm Katie B. Davis. We appreciate Nichols Body Shop for partnering with us. Nick Nichols and his team truly live up to their mantra, folks. Quality repairs, old-fashioned service. From dents and dings to major collision damage, Nichols Body Shop has you covered. And they throw in a free estimate to boot. Doesn't get much better than that. Go see them today. 4730 Atlanta Highway in Flowery Branch. We're continuing our conversation uh, with newly signed Georgia tight end Hunter Atkinson of West Hall fame. Uh, Favorite University of Georgia player? And if you say somebody on this year's team, I'm going to be embarrassed. (laughs) Martrez Milner. Nice! Oh! oh. (laughs) Martrez Milner of West Hall fame as well. How how much did... uh, Did you even think about the fact that you're sort of following in his footsteps? Yes, ma'am. I hope to continue following it, make it to the NFL. (laughs) (laughs) Nice! Nice answer. I knew you had one of those in you. All right. Taylor Swift or Carrie Underwood? Oh, man. Carrie Underwood. Why? I don't know. Something about Taylor Swift I don't like. You don't like her? (laughs) Uh-uh, she always so, sings about guys or something. I don't like that. Do you like Carrie Underwood's music better? Let me put it that way. Uh, yes. Okay. Good answer. All right. Favorite place to shop? Um, Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> I was 
was hoping like an Abercrombie <laughs> or yeah. Belk, Macy's maybe, Bass Pro Shop. What's your why why Bass Pro Shop? What do I'm, you buy? Hunting stuff, hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing. You're gonna fit right in at the University of Georgia. <laughs> you absolutely are. Uh favorite place what's your favorite place to hunt? I'm not a hunter or a fisher woman. So I don't know much about those two sports. Where's your favorite place to hunt? I guess our hunt land in Elberton. That's nice. how I really went. <laughs> Where's your, what, uh, what, have you, what have you shot? As a, as a, sorry, I, that seems really grotesque to me. <laughs> but what have you, what have you shot? Uh, deer. Just deer? Well, armadillos. Really? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a, a, a friend, um, and I use the term friend loosely because he's a lot older than me, um, but I've known him for years. His name's Walter Cooper, uh, and he... Like, goes on hunting expeditions out west, goes to, like, Alaska. And his basement, and I'm not kidding you, <laughs> is so scary to go in at night when the, all the lights are out because there are animals all over the world, and all kinds of animals. Like, elk, it is absolutely crazy. I don't really understand it, but I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you like it. Now, do you fish on Lake Lanier? What do you fish? Yes, ma'am. I fish on Lake Lanier and uh, Lake Oconee. Have you ever caught, like, the huge 10-foot catfish that are at the bottom of Lake Lanier? Well, um... I, I could say I hooked in one of those on July 4th, but my fishing pole went shooting across the water before I could grab it. So Did I it really? On the other end. <laughs> oh, wow. So the myth of the catfish is real. I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it took off. I was really upset. Oh, wow. All right. Do you have a touchdown dance? No, ma'am. Are you going to get it? Don't let us celebrate. Do you get, are you going to get a touchdown dance? Um, I want to copy one from the Miami from a long, long time ago. They're nasty, dirty dances. What was the nasty, dirty dance? Uh, they used to get all kinds of penalties from showboat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. So you're going to stop being the guy who scores a touchdown uh, and flips the ball to the ref, and you're going to, you know, showboat a little bit. Like, Mallory, because you're a pretty humble guy, right? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I may wave or something. I don't want to be real cocky and, like, start dancing or stuff. I mean, I might get cheap shot or something. I don't know. You know what I like about this whole thing? is that Hunter didn't say anything about not scoring a touchdown at the University of Georgia. <laughs> That's what I like about that. Favorite place to eat? Oh, um, El Sombrero. Favorite, what do you get there? Two chicken cheese burritos. Really? Yes, ma'am. See, I'm just a flat out like grilled chicken nacho girl. Isn't that kind of boring? I don't know, that's boring. What's your pregame meal? Um, this year it was chicken and potatoes Mm -hmm. every day, um, with honey. That's all we could eat with it. Oh, that's all you could eat with it? They, Coach Lottie mandated what you ate? Yeah, and, um pasta we got chicken pasta potatoes with nothing but honey coaches got butter and sweet tea and we had, uh, <laughs> <made it in. laughs> oh man coach lottie you're getting ripped into over here all right so uh day before a game though um the day before a game we would go in like early in the mornings and um we'd eat chicken biscuits and kind of have like a get together and talk about like character and stuff like that yeah uh, he has like seven pillars and it goes really in depth, but that's that's normally our day before, and then light practice and lots of rest for the next day. I've talked a lot to Coach Tony Lottie, and frankly, he's one of my favorite uh, coaches ar- around here, and probably one of my favorite men I've ever met. I think he's just a genuinely great man. What are you going to take from West Hall uh, and carry on to to your career at Georgia, uh, knowing that you know Coach Lottie's not going to be lording over you, making you go eat chicken biscuits and listen <laughs> to him to him talk. But what are you going to take from West Hall to the University of Georgia? Um, I would say respect because mm-hmm. he goes over something every Thursday. And one thing we went over one time, he's probably if listening, he's like, God, he always tells his story. But <laughs> he went over a real man. And real meant something. Now, I only remember the first two words that stuck with me. And the R meant respect respect everyone. The E was especially women. Mm-hmm. And ever since that day, it stuck with me. It was my junior year, and that's the only thing I really remember. How do you carry that out, though? Um, I just try to show everybody respect. And, like, if there's somebody in the hallway somewhere no one talks to, go up and talk to them. Because you never know. Like, you can make somebody's day by doing that. That's fantastic. What a good guy you are. <laughs> not one to tear up on radio but i'm getting a little misty over here that's fantastic <laughs> hunter i absolutely love that now uh, listen there are a lot of temptations in athens uh y- you know this i'm sure you've been to athens uh, how are you going to uh not fall to those temptations how are you going to keep being the guy you are right now in a place like athens georgia it, with one of the best uh, football programs traditionally in the country 
Um, I'm just going to work hard and in the weight room. And even when we're not in the weight room, get in the weight room, get bigger. And got to stay on top of my grades and classwork. And that's one thing I had to promise Coach Lottie before I win. He said, promise me. Right now, it sounds super easy, but just go to class. That's the only promise I want. It's going to be easy now, but when you're there, it's going to be one of the hardest things you've ever promised. Yeah, it is, because you're really on your own. It's the first time you're going to be treated like an adult, and they expect you to just get up and go to class on your own. And it is. It's very, very hard. As a former college athlete, I can tell you, there were a few times I missed classes, and there were a few miles I had to run for missing those <laughs> classes. Uh, so hopefully, you're never in that predicament. Do you like watching film? Are you a student of the game? Uh, yes, ma'am, because you can actually learn a lot on film by a person's stance, you know, like how they line up, their their space in between the holes and their formations. You learn a lot about the person you're going up against that's in front of you by watching film. If you sit there and study play-by-play play and rewind and rewind and rewind, you'll really get to see, like, if they have more weight on their hand, what they're doing or what's going on. You really learn a lot from film. We're continuing our conversation with Hunter Atkinson. Yesterday he signed a college scholarship to the University of Georgia uh, I believe you were there 17th. Am I right about that? 17th signee? Yeah, I'm asking you, Brian. Oh, yeah. But I, I don't know. Uh, we finished at 21. I think he came in around the rest. Yeah, or I think it was 17th or 18th. 17th or 18th uh, signee. Came as a surprise, not just to Hunter, that he was get, getting the opportunity to sign on the dotted line to the University of Georgia. Came as a surprise to those of us who have followed him throughout his, his career. Not because... Uh, we didn't think you were good enough. That wasn't it at all. I remember uh, this past season, you all were playing Chesty. You all were playing Chesty. Um, and you made a catch on the sideline. And I said on the radio, there's not a wide receiver in this area. And I don't know if there's one in the state that could make that catch. And we just saw a tight end do it. How tall are you, 6'5"? Yes, ma'am. We just saw a 6'5 kid, uh, a freak of nature in size kid. Uh, go up and make a, a catch that I, I promise you, I promise you, you'd be hard-pressed to see the best wide receivers in the state of Georgia make. Unbelievable. No, I, I want to see if I could jump in here. I've got some family out in the West Hall area that they have been pestering me to ask him at least one question. Go on for their it. And, uh, Ernie Phillips, the band director out there, is one, one of my relatives. And they, for one, they are ecstatic that the Martrez Milner legacy is continuing to have tight ends leaving West Hall and going to Georgia. But they've been wondering, are, do you have any interest in going and rolling this summer and getting your, your work started early, or are you going to wait until the fall and have some more time at home before you actually start your college um, career? I have interest in going into the summer and trying to work hard and get that starting spot. I like it, too. Ernie <laughs> Phillips. You're related to Ernie Phillips? I am. Bless your soul. <laughs> I do. I love that. Big Ern is kidding. a heck of a guy. Big Ern is a heck of a guy. That's <laughs> that's funny. I'm glad that they I'm glad that they wanted you to ask that. So this summer I saw you glance over at your mother. You gonna have a you gonna have a hard time if he leaves early. You're gonna have a hard time if he leave when he leaves, aren't you? Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Oh. I'm just letting you because you're a mama's boy, aren't you? A little bit. Oh, come on. He's a big mama's boy. She did boy. not like the question about the temptations down in Athens. She started trying to plug her headphones up as soon as you asked it. Hey, but your answer was great. <laughs> your answer was great because, listen, you, you can't hide from them. They're there. They're yeah, going to be there. You just got to stay busy and stay you gotta away stay from You got to stay busy. You got to stay. Yeah, you got to have your head in that film room. You know, one of the best examples, Hunter, I'm telling you, is Connor Shaw. Yes, he I went am. up He went up to South Carolina, you know, and, and, and he knows you know he just stuck his nose in a film room and kept it there stuck his nose in the books and kept it there and look at what he ended up doing yes, it's all about hard work and you're willing to work hard aren't you yes ma'am all right what is the most important thing from home the most important thing from home that you're going to take with you to the university of georgia and what i'm really asking is hunter atkinson do you have a whoopee no not right now you don't have a whoopie. Do you know what a whoopie is? Like a blankie stuffed animal. It's okay. I don't have a blanket, Nobody's listening, and it's take. okay. It has to be like maybe if they buy me a camouflage one or something. Right now, it'd be my <laughs> truck if it'll make it up there. Your truck. That's what you're going to take with you. So yes, you have nothing like of sentimental value that you want to take to Georgia. But when I was born, I got a dog named Bingo, and it's still under my bed. But I mean, I don't plan on taking him way up there. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth reveals itself. You're taking Bingo. No, trust no. me when I say <laughs> you're going to get down to those last few days at home, and you're. Gonna, I'm telling you, I know you're all big and tough, and it's exciting right now. And I'm going to play football at Georgia. You're going to get to those last few days at home. You're. Ooh, 
crying. Either that or his first week down there, he'll be driving back home to get it. <laughs> hey, mama, send me bingo. She, bingo's going to come FedExed in. Well, listen, so proud of you. And I know you're going to do big things at the University of Georgia because uh, you're going to work hard and you're going to keep your head on straight. And believe me when I say that humility you have right now, that doesn't ever leave you. You'd be fake to be anything but that. You understand me, young man? Yes, ma'am. So proud of you. Congratulations. Hunter Atkinson going to be a tight end at the University of Georgia. Boy, that is something to cheer about. When we come back, we're talking racing with Brandon Weed and Matt Weaver. This is Game On. I'm Katie B on WDUN.